Hi and welcome to myprojectbuzzer.com This video is all about explaining the project description workflow and demo of the project mobile advertisement. Let's start from the project description. The project mobile advertisement is a web based mobile shopping mart where the user can visit the site to view the product description and the price of each mobile. The above aim can be established by providing a layer structure model that includes users and client models. This site would be functioned the same as a Amazon and Quicker sites. It allows user to view and purchase a product and a log line to add, view their products and catch alerts when the user purchased their product through mail and SMS. Let's start from the user model. The user can register with our system and log into our system to access the service offered. So then the user can view all the products along with the price and available quantity and the product description. User can get latest reviews from other users. User can purchase your product to online itself. User can view the purchase history of his transaction details. The data flow diagram for the user model is shown below. The next model would be the client model. The client can register with our system and log in to our system to access the service offered to them. The client can add, view their products into our site where the user can view their product and purchase it. The client gets alerts through mail and SMS when a user purchases his product. Client can view the reviews from user and other clients and the product descriptions. The flow diagram for the client is shown here. The overall flowchart and the data for diagram for the project is shown below. Next would be the demo of the project. This would be the home page for our project mobile advertisement. It contains a home page menu and sign up and login menu. In home page menu, it contains the detail of about the project sites latest product updation details and the total followers the number of users registered in our systems in sign up page it contains a form which the user and the client can register into our system if the user if the new user is a user category it asks for the subscription for mobile sms of the latest product updation details if the user is a client category, it's produce an alert, your product will be advertised for a limited period. By, by clicking on the login page, the user can login into our systems. The users included in our projects were admin, user and the client. Let's start from the client model. The username for, for the client is client at gmail.com and the password is 123. By clicking on the login button, the client can login into our system. This would be the home page for the client panel. It contains a menu of product details, add products and delete products and produce a welcome message as for the client. By clicking on the product details, the client can view the products of the of their own or the products which are added by him along with the available stock available details by clicking on add products the client can add number of products to our websites which can be viewed to the end user or the user model by clicking on the delete product the client can delete their product which has been added into our sites by clicking on the logout button, the client can log out from our system. The next model would the username for the user model is user at gmail.com and the password is 123. By clicking on the login button, the user can log in into our system. This is the user panel for the user model. It contains the menus of product details and purchase history and produce a welcome message. 
by clicking on the product details the user can view number of products which are listed in our sites along with their price descriptions and stock levels if the user like to buy the product he can just click on the purchase button it next redirect to the purchase history pages it asks for the number of quantity that needed to be ordered the user can just type the number of quantity he needed to purchase his order and click on the confirm order it next asks for the payment details and it produces the total amount of the ordered cost and the bank name example card number next and the pin number by clicking on the purchase order it will it place the orders and produce alert to the client who had ordered this product and who are the original dealer of the product through mail and the sms and redirect the user to the purchase history menu page which produce the list of details which was already purchased by him along with the card number and the purchase date and the total amount by clicking on the logout button the user can logout from our system the next module would be the admin module the username for the admin is admin at gmail.com and the password is admin123 admin by clicking on the login button admin can login into our control panel this would be the home page which contains the detail who logged in with along with the date and total number of products in our site client and the user who were registered in our site by clicking on the product details admin can view all the products which are already in our website by clicking on the client details you admin can view the registered clients by clicking on the user details admin can view the registered user details by clicking on the delete button admin can delete the users from our site by clicking on the action button admin can block the client or user from logging to our system by providing allow or deny services by clicking on the logout button admin can logout from our system thank you for watching this video